I'm Walter Grunfeld. I'm, I'm the owner and the founder, founder of the WGTA Tennis Academy in Barcelona. I became a tennis coach with uh, 17 years old. I was a player and I decided to start coaching because it was uh, something I had inside. No? And I stopped playing and went to, to America to work with Boletieri. I spent seven years there with Boletieri. I just stopped playing because I decided to concentrate fully into, into coaching. Since then, I was just involved with, uh, with training, coaching, traveling with players, with professionals, and working for uh, Olympic committees, being head coach of uh, Involuntary Academy in Belgium. And then finally, I started jumping to working uh, myself with players and traveling the world with them developing them and working on getting their, their level and the rankings, no? Up. Well, I decided to start the, the WGTA Academy five, six years ago. After, like I mentioned before, traveling for more than 30 years with players and get involved in many different systems, uh, academies and uh, associations, I decided to create a different system to develop players, no? Get very close to the players and allow them to have the best options and the best tools to develop their dreams and their future tennis. And I want to do something that change the, the system that exists. The people can very easily see the difference between what I do here and what the rest of the tennis world is doing. And there is so many differences. First is the the compromise we have to the to the players and to the families because every family you know is a big effort and sacrifice to send their their children to train abroad and also economically is a, you know, a big sacrifice for them. And then uh, I think that they they need to have back a completely and fully compromise and commitment from the, the academy in this case and from each member of the staff of the academy towards the player to give them uh, the everything possible all times to help them to reach their best no? and to get closer to their dreams. Uh, I create this not thinking about the business side of uh, tennis. No, I just create this to help players to be developed. Also, the relationship with the, with the families is very close. Here at the academy, we, we become a big family that uh, we are 24 hours together. We we part of their life no? and they're part of our life. And this is a big difference with the, with the rest no? of the tennis worldwide because uh, just the player is normally one more of uh, at the academy no? and they don't get very closely attached no? to the player and to the family you know and that's a big difference for for the parents no? and also for the players they see that no that compromise that commitment that that uh, illusion you have as them to to make something no and and I think this is uh, the biggest thing, no? And the biggest difference from that. I live in nine different countries in my life, no? Like more than three, four years on those countries. It's not just traveling for tournaments. Traveling for tournaments, I've been more than 90 countries already. With the knowledge, all that experiences give me during my life, I, I saw that uh, in Barcelona, we can say Barcelona is maybe the heart of tennis in the world, you know, as the best place to, to set a, a base to develop the players. Also, the weather is very good. Uh, the competition around is plenty and, and, and good one with all the kind of different kind of levels you need for different kind of players. Because of all those reasons, I just mm, saw that Barcelona was the right place to, to
to to do this no this project we have a tough system now it's very intense very high quality in the training but the most important is the the players who are joining the academy are fully committed to uh, their tennis as a priority in their life i'm talking about the full-time players then uh, they come in here uh, to train six, seven hours a day, whole week, the whole year, like the professional players. Then the, the year is 12 months, not 10 months, like in many other places. Uh, the holidays, we have it in, in November, when the season is, is, is finishing or getting over. Then to have the rest and then work on the pre-season. Uh, most of the places, they have summer holidays that is impossible because summer holidays, it cut you in the middle of the season. Then all the studies are being doing on online because if you want to become a player, you need to concentrate many hours on, on, on the sports. And then at the side, you should study, but the online system is what allow you to give no? more dedication to, to your tennis and to try to reach your, your goals. The system is very individual. Now the training is uh, one to one uh, every day in a daily basis. Try to assure that all the players can work on their priority and with a one to one supervision for the coaches that uh, give them the chance no, the, to receive better help and a consistent supervision no, and personal supervision uh, all the time. Then the rest of the system is based on a personal uh, planning for each player in all areas. Every player has a personal uh, goals, personal competition plan, personal uh, fitness training, and in all the areas, you no, know, in in with the same you no know, mentality that make a big difference uh, for the players, you no, know, that they feel that. I'm the only one no, at the academy. No, I'm an individual at the academy and not part of a big group. No, and I give a personal attention full time. To, to develop a player, you need uh, several issues that, uh, that have to be considered from, from the families, from the player, and from, and from the coaches as well, no? in this case, from us. The first important thing is that the, the player has very high motivation to go through this process. It's a long-term process uh, that requires years to, to be able to develop a player no? and to give him all the tools and the, the chances to, to grow. And you need motivation from the player, you need the support from the parents 100%, and then you need the right place. No? The right place where they teach you as an individual, they treat you as a professional and they dedicate all the effort to work with you and help you to reach the best you can be, but in a daily basis, independently, the level you have at the moment you start that process. Other issue very, very important is the, the mental. One, one thing that is very important for me is that the mental Training is present on the daily routine uh, all the time uh, with the coaches, with the fitness, and also with our uh, psychological team that uh, they work every day on those aspects. Because at the end, it's more important that you grow mentally and you grow as a person than uh, hitting ball for six hours a day. No, because that's important. But if you don't grow mentally, the tennis is, will not be enough to make you the best you can be. My goal for WGTA, uh, like I said in the beginning, you know, the, the idea was to give something different to the, to the people, not to the, to the players, to the parents. Uh, my goal is to help as many players as I can to, to reach the their goals, their dreams, see the point that tennis is very difficult. Tennis is very complicated to reach you know, in, to higher positions. That demands a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of money. But at the same time, 
uh, if you have an academy, one of your goals should be to help the people and try to uh, treat this sport no, not a, as a business, okay? Of course, the money will be always involved in, 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 in the process because it's necessary to keep the structure, it's necessary to, to, to invest, to, to improve things, but uh, the main reason why you have an academy is to make players, not to make money. And this is a big difference for me. No, I created this academy to help people and to make players, not to become rich or make money.